we'd like to demonstrate right now would be defining your project area within iTreat Canopy. So in order to do this, first we go to our iTreatTools.org website, which is indicated up top. Uh, just type in iTreatTools.org. Once you're at the site, just scroll down and go to iTreat Canopy. The iTreat Canopy window will open um, and it will allow us several different things. We can either load uh, ESRI shapefile, which requires the knowledge of GIS. We'll show you that in another video. Or we can go down here and load a previous study that we might have already completed. But what we're going to do in this case here is quickly show you how to define a new project area. And that would be the uh, municipal boundaries of a community or a geographic area that we want to uh, define. So what you do is simply click on the uh, define project area. And what it's going to do is bring you up a dialog box here that shows the entire world in a, uh, and this is actually a Google Maps um, image. So what you're going to want to do is in this area right over here, we have the opportunity to type in uh, the name of or location of a municipality or an area that we want to zoom in on. So in this case, let's take a look at um, Worcester, Massachusetts. It's an area that's heavily infested by the, uh, or impacted by the Asian longhorn beetle infestation. So let's take a look at Worcester. So what I'll do is just type that in. We type in Worcester, Massachusetts, and we click on Find Location. And what that's going to do is to zero in on our area, and you'll see that uh, within the center here is uh, Worcester, and we uh, see the surrounding towns. In this case here, you'll be up to look at um, uh, areas to the north and to the east and the west that have been impacted by the Asian longhorn beetle. Let's zoom out a little bit because I know my geographic bounds are a little uh, um, extended on this, on this map here and we'll be able to cover um, most of those boundaries of the city so that we can clearly define the area. But I don't know where the city boundaries, the municipal boundaries in Worcester are. I know they're somewhere around these edges. Uh, so what I do is I generally go over and within a new browser um, I open up Google Maps. And you can see up here I just type in maps.google.com and what I've done is I've already gone and typed ahead Worcester, Mass. And so what this does, it brings up a Worcester, Mass. But in this case here, we have the geographic boundaries or the municipal boundaries of Worcester indicated. So now I'm able to uh, actually see where those boundaries are. And then the object now would be to utilize those boundaries over in our iTree Canopy study area. So what we're going to have to do is I simply go back to my, uh, I put the two windows side by side, and you'll see here's my first window and my second window. So I'm able now to look back, and I go up to this tool right up top here, um, where you see it says um, it's a shape tool. And what it allows us to do is actually define the uh, edges of the boundaries around Worcester. So what I'll do is go back to my uh, first point up here, and I see that it's... Um, uh, transferring it, I need to transfer it from Route 190 over here up in this area um, and what I do is just have to get a general point location but I, I, I know that this is the approximate top of my area and then I just more clearly define using my mouse and clicks all the way down and, and basically following what I've seen and I have the ability to zoom in and uh, move along in this case, but I'm just going to show you for uh, simplicity purpose here. We're going to head over toward here, and then we head up along here by um, here, and we go over to here, and we go up through the airport, and then what we do is go over to here. So now, what I basically see is my Worcester uh, area clearly defined on my map, and you can see that that Im mimics what we see over here on our original uh, Google Maps that we've gotten off the web. And so what I do is I go back to my iTree Canopy and I just click Finish. And what it does then, it transfers those boundaries, and you can see here the map of Worcester um, clearly identified, and that's going to be our study area. So the point is that we've been able to establish the geographic or the municipal boundaries of the study area, and now we're able to begin the process of looking at our canopy study of Worcester, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm.